Welcome back to Foster Oil Well Fest. Today we're well fading around Foster Oil, Ohio. And welcome back to the Buckeye State Wells. It will be pleasure that we will be well fading around Foster Oil on the Foster Oil Well Fest. This is our first train and our first ethanol for the day. This is B773, bound for Port New York, New Jersey. From Chicago, Illinois, with a couple Canadian Nationals leading the way. I thought it would be dropped in um, Willard, but I guess not. So, let's just get started. And today will be a great day. I will be celebrating my birthday. It will be a few days from now, but now it's, it's about to be like a few days. Still celebrating it with a couple of friends of mine and a couple of buddies of mine who came from Cincinnati, Ohio, and they came all the way up here to celebrate it and came up here for the Well Fest. Let's get this B773. This is our second train here at Fall Story now. This is I-010. This is kind of like, eh, not weird, but I've seen this contest before. Three locomotives on I-010. Eh. I used, I'm used to have seen DPUs on I-010. I'm not sure if they changed that or not. But whatever it is, whatever it is, it's fine. It's I go old town. He is heading towards Port Newark, New Jersey for his destination. Just to normal three normal GE's locomotives that are taking the lead of I go old town.
Well, there goes L70. It was unexpectedly getting L70 at this time, because L70 usually departs from Australia from the yard to go west. But with this early afternoon, it's very, very rare for an L70 to head back. Unless they like left it early in the morning and then came came back. But I think what I heard from rumors, this L71, unless this is an extra L70, not really sure. But it's still cool with the serve of P5 leading. 6137 is leading L70 today. He is flying towards the yard, but he's not actually going into the yard. We got a, what, another train on a Willard sub. Now, this one's probably M200 or 506. Or whatever symbol this one is. This is probably either 510, 506, or 200. But it has like an awkward horn on this one. 812 is leading with a weirdest <laughs> horn that I haven't heard in a long time. The one horn that I used to hear, it would be on 835. So, I have not seen that one in a long, long time. It's been a super long time since I've seen that one. Let's get this whatever train this one is. Someone jumped into that green hopper. 
What? They look adorable. Dude, look at Heritage Car! Oh. Heritage Car! Oh my god, Canadian Pacific doesn't exist anymore. Or fall in flag. It's so sad. Bye guys. I can already see the meme that say if the CPKC murdered the CPKC. Sex! Sex! <laughs> yes. Well, I won't be dead. Yeah, it's totally rude right there. Here comes our CSX 558 from Cincinnati, Ohio to Willard, Ohio. This is actually a new train that uh, CSX has been uh, released and L423 and L424 is abolished. So now we got a 558 and 559 and today's 558 is just two long GEs leading this log manifest train with a bunch of hot ass coppers on the front. The crew was so friendly.
Well, here comes another train. This one is CSX I-151 from Detroit to North Baltimore. You'd be taking a while to go west. But, we do have another signal for another westbound on a Garrett in Willard. But, this I-151 is going to take their time because they're taking from the connection from the north to go west. Just a normal DC Jeevos. One is a DC and the other one is a AC 44. But I did get some really nice shot of this one. For some reason. Here comes our next westbound, JT Will Fanning, but this is our BNSF grain train from Columbus, Maryland to all the way to Chicago with a BNSF, two orange units, and the 12 and 3rd position unit is a fake bonnet. We'll be trailing third out of three, trailing on G110. But I have not seen a fake bonnet in so long, it's been a while. And I managed to get this depot into my shot. There's a foamer standing on the road, but I don't really care. Yeah. G110 is gonna stop west of Fostoria.
We ain't doing anything. And there hasn't been a train since after that grain train went by. And the same thing with I-151. That grain train is just sitting west of Bostroy, Ohio. You can see the tail end of G-110. However, we will not be focusing on that anymore. However, we will be getting another train, but that will be in another five minutes. Well, this one is a CSX Colt train, which is a coal train, but it's basically hauling coal on this train. Looks like it has a tier 4 Jeebo that is leading this train and a DC Jeebo throwing second. A Coke Express is really cool. I don't think this Coke Express is the only stretch on the Garrett and Willard sub. think you're funny, you're kinda not, because you kinda looking at a video camera, I don't think you knew that I was recording this whole time, but I was, this whole time that like you were blowing stuff at this Coke Express train. <sighs> Some people are dumb, and he's just doing that again. That dude on the white, on the bicycle, saw you doing that dude, why? I think I know what type of train this one is. This is M631 from CSX Walbridge, Ohio to all the way to Avon, Indiana. He would be taking the Columbus line, actually Pumberville and then Columbus line, all the way down towards Marion, getting on to the B line, and then towards Avon. This ain't anything special, but with some brand new grain hoppers. Sometimes, getting a shot like that is kind of cool. I never gotten a shot this well in a long time getting a 
CSX Ebbs 631. It's been a while since it was abolished for like a year and a half. Since um, I-132 and I-131 decided to come through the stretch, but it doesn't anymore. It goes on to the Toledo branch. Now say, M630 and 631 are back. Now, we decided to take a look at North Baltimore because I would heard that 1827, well, the B&O Heritage locomotive, would end up being on an extra 157 this early morning, got it to North Baltimore, but now we were here in the middle of the yard and we spotted 1827, the B&O Baltimore and Ohio Railroad, which is the B&O Heritage. We're back at Fostoria. Shut up, Bomer. This one is M215. It's a quite short one. This is a really golden hour. And I got some really golden light shots of this 215. I didn't have all full of my equipment with me. So the phone that I got with me is the only one that I got to film with just 215 which was alright it's not the best but it's still pretty good even though it shoots at the white settings that I shoot for video 1080p 60 it's smooth if you can tell um, the 7248 is very clean while the Y2 is kind of dirty Well, I could tell by the low dish light, it's not a C44-9, it's a dash 9 that is solo leading this 
be 714 tonight. And for me, some reason, thinking this is kind of classic, because a dash 9 solo leading does not happen much anymore. The only thing that you get is a bunch of Jeebos that are leading this Avidol. Or whatever type of Avidol, or whatever train. Like, 1827 is a Jeebo, but it's a heritage. But this Dash 9 is quite, quite classic. It's still supporting the Y and 2. So, let's get this B714. We get it. That's always Oh, well, here comes another train. This is the Dana Waddle westbound towards Bedford Park. Nothing too special, but it's it's all right. As you can see, we got a green signal for an eastbound. Wondering who this one is for an eastbound. I don't think it would be 1827 because I would get some news around this time that 1827 will be taking the Toledo branch from the Baltimore to Columbus. It would be on I-146. Or seven, but whatever. It's we saw it at a Baltimore yard after getting the action of RS5T. This intermodal westbound shows up, and um, after we got this intermodal, like moments later, we then see a lot of trains or a single train, but. We do hear the RS5T again.
Well, this is probably 565. Eddie towards the Chicago Bar Yard because, well, it had four engines. Both were both elephant style each way. Still gotten a headlight from an eastbound yet. But we were gonna head to the park right after this one and get the one that has the RS5T, which is the Fostoria local. And we ending up just like I end up just walking back just in case this is the 1827. But earlier I was getting some cooperation that this unit would not be on 1827 would not be on this in a model. You would be heading south towards Columbus. It's still cool because I saw the moon at the time. And of course I was adjusting my camcorder at the time. So I shoot manual during the day. And I was getting dark. And I shoot audio auto at night. So at this point we would get another westbound. I didn't know at this point my friends were at the park the whole time waiting for the the local that has the RS5T which is 6504. Well this one's I went 65 with a CP leader and it's kind of shocking to be on at CSX but the NS Jibo is twelve second on I-165, even though NS is not rare, but it's four power on CSX, even though it's right next to NS as well. Well, there goes the Fostoria local, which ended up going south through Fostoria. My friends caught it by the park, and I did not go all the way over there. I'm sad, but it's, it's alright, because I'll catch it again. But, a solo C44 is leading the stack train. Could be. IO a one. I actually don't know what the symbol on this train is, but it's quite interesting to see a solo AC4400 leading on this intermodal and stack train. Whatever. It's getting pretty dark, and I got some light with with me, so that wouldn't matter. 
it's really small for my Sunday. Well, you and Brett can tell you that. Yes. Oh. Right, Brett? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. It's really small on Sunday Street. You're right. He said he's going to be here tomorrow. Basically here at South Main Street because we would get some NS's. I would thought we would go to Poplar, but we did not. But we decided just to come over here. Shots did not turn us bad, but it wouldn't be the same without my lights. It would be Andrew's lights that we would get. It's not bad, but still, it would have been perfect with mine. Whatever. We just gotta work with the guy with gold. But a solo AC 44C6M is leading this manifest. This is probably 12Q.
really, why could that be a daylight? A AC6000, a UP we built. Would be the weird DPU on his 12Q, or previously 12Q. I don't actually know what the symbol on that one. Quite a few I don't really know about the symbols. But now, we would get a westbound on a Fostoria district. It's a solo ACC leading this Arawak train. And the shot didn't turn out as bad, but man, I could have taken pictures with my flash. Didn't though, but this video and the shot ended up turning really good. Even though it's at night. Here comes M201. Now I got the light, but I'm not flaming the lights at the crew in front of them. I'm actually got them at a certain point that they won't see or look at the light. M201 would be taking a Y to go west towards Chicago and Illinois. I almost forgot to not say North Baltimore because I'm used to saying North Baltimore of I-151 but this is I'm 201 with the GE leading I think that was pretty good with the light because I did a really good panning with the camera and the tripod the tripod is very nice with what I do with the panning
Hey, who wants to see that train? Now we're working with the lights this time. I don't know why, but Andrew said, Screw it, we're gonna have the lights on this time. And this would be pretty good, much a good timing because this would end up being a meet on the Australia district with an eastbound and a westbound that will be coming. So we decided to come back to S Main Street, which is South Main Street, and I end up flashing this westbound, which ended up heading a Dash 9 and a UP that would be trailing on this manifest. I thought it would be the Lehigh Valley, but it's not. Because the Lehigh Valley would have been taking the Chicago line instead of a Australia district, which would have been a nice catch, but oh well. What are you gonna do? At least we're getting foreign power. Here comes our very last train of the day, <laughs> till tomorrow. This will be our final train here at Florida for the night. There's Justin in the middle of my video because he didn't think that there was too much light, even though there was a bunch of light for us to work with here at Mopler Street. This is another coke train, but this one's heading east. It's very cool, because coke express... This is the only stretch on the Willard Thug that will only one. That's that I know of, but... This is the only stretch that I know of so far that has the coke express. It's nothing special, but it's... It's alright, at least. So... Let's just get this final train at Foxtoy of, of the night. Here we have go home.
it's another day. This time, we're at Deschler, but I want to include it with my Fast Julia Wellfest video of 2023. That's 559. Like, are you kidding me? That's 559? With one engine and one car? That's it? Man, they're gonna have a fun time today. No time of speeding through on the Toledo sub. This is 565 with a SD70 base in the lead. And we would end up getting a westbound, but we heard the horn, and that would be the mace. So, now we're looking at of this mace. This mace is cool, because maces are cool to see on CSX, because, well, this is the only wayward that actually makes maces like this from X Conwell. We would ended up sticking around for a little bit, and then we got this westbound, which ended up very, very nice power. Kansas City Southern, tier 4, Gibo, and then a CP Gibo, and then a Kansas City Southern ace in the lead of this ethanol. What you guys just saw, the this is some form power. I have not seen Kansas City Southern in the lead in a long time. The only time last time I saw it, Kansas City Southern, was back in 2022 at Erie, Michigan. And it would be I-132 had a Kansas City Southern in the lead. So that's been a long time since I saw one in the lead. But very, very nice. I saw this one sitting at North Baltimore Yard. Didn't have a crew until now. And I was thinking to myself, when I was zooming in with my camcorder to see what the form, what the power is. Uh, that's Kansas City Southern, I think. And I thought to myself, Oh, that's that train that's been sitting in North Baltimore for quite a few hours or whatever. So, we managed to get this one. And making our way to Bostoria after.
know why. Now we got some more form power. This one is the BNSF that is leading this manifest on the Fostoria district. The symbol that was on this train, which ended up being 15Q from Bovey, Ohio to East St. Louis, Illinois. With some four power that is leading this at manifest, ending up kind of cool. See a lot of four power today. As soon as we get to Fostoria. As soon as we get to Fostoria, we see so many trains already. I gotten some on my phone, but I didn't want to upload it on the... Even though it's, this video is very long, and it's already longer already. If I did edit the clip, I would have been in a longer video to make. I didn't add this. They weren't even anything special, so they were just all CSX boring crap power. This would end up being our second NS of the day, actually. Speaking of false stories, these two NS would actually treat us well. Because sometimes we won't get any NSs at a time. And if I'm not mistaken, we got a third NS one coming. But it's still quite a few minutes away. And by time, I was getting ready for the panning for the weird DPU. He was getting pretty close to the park. So, what after I get the DPU, I was still recording, but at a different angle. Did some really good panning with the weird DPU. There are some foamers. Well, here comes our third NS train of the day. The NS would actually be treating us very well because this is actually a third train at Foss Joya for the day. And the only NS action that we've been getting, and we caught four last night in a row, and 
Now we're about to get three NSs in a row in this darn a day, which is very awesome. So, this 11E is heading towards Detroit, Michigan. I don't know why he's going to go through Australia, but I guess it is. With a P5 on this 4266. Well, we're back after getting three NSs in a row. We finally got a CSX on the Willard subdivision. This is a CSX Coke train that has a Lion 2 leader. I ended up getting the drone up just because why not? Because I haven't actually flied it this whole weekend yet. And I thought this weekend would be the chance since it's probably going to be a bit since I'm going to last fly it. End up getting an okay shot. Not bad. The settings were quite messed up because well, I had to recalibrate it and other stuff. And I forgot to change it to 2.7k 30 fps. But it's 20. But it's alright, at least I'm getting a video. But this is a Coke Express. So it's loaded towards Chicago.
Oh, what is it? It's a Holly Stone. Okay. What kind do you have? HS360. Well, this one is another NS train. NS276. Bound for Norfolk, Virginia. He is pulling it on the Faustoria district for Faustoria today. Usually he goes like a little bit slow, like like 30 or 40. He's doing every single bit of track speed for Faustoria. I didn't feel like going to the NS crossing because, you know, I would probably get a good shot. And I ended up didn't get a good shot. So, it's not always getting a shot of a head end, like the headlight. Sometimes it's like this. So, that's what I like it about it. Some foamers do that. I do that sometimes, but yeah. not for this train. Like This is our power for I-151. 147 is our leader and the Lion 2 AC-44. And our Jibo is 994. We'll be trailing on this I-151 bound for North Baltimore, Ohio. Take it a while so you going to be taking a very long time. That's why I shortened it up because it was six minutes long for this footage, so that's why I, why I thought it would be six minutes of footage time on this I-151. I made it to like two minutes.
going straight through? Yes. Oh, that's why. He's a coal, no wonder. I'll just get the engines and then we can go. <laughs> JT will fan in his foamer scooter. <laughs> this is our final train at Frostoria on the CS6 Willard. This is a solo Jeevo that is leading this animal. However, final train of the weekend here at Fostoria. This was some great times. There goes JT giving a moment. Thumbs up in my photo. Used it as a profile picture on Facebook. Don't care about that because he can use it anytime. He gives me credit. Yeah. 811 would be leading on this last dinner model here at Story for the weekend. There's our DPU, 714 is our mid DPU for this unknown data model. Yeah, if you guys think this will be the last train, it really is. Because we had to go back home after well fitting for two days in a row. Yeah, it's, it's been a long adventure with my buddies here down in Fostoria. Even though I don't live that far, it's still good to hang out with them. Even though they live far away from home. And here, Fostoria. This will probably be the last time I'll be seeing my buddy in a while. But. It will be. This last of the train will be empty bar table. You really thought that was the last train that CSX and Immortal? L70 would be our last one. But it would be a short clip because he was going fast as heck. Anywho, the weekend will finally end here. Fostoria, Ohio at Poplar Street on the and at Fostoria District. I will be seeing y'all. Y'all in the Michigan or state or the Buckeye State Wells.